earth is known as a blue planet because it is uh, covered by the water on the earth surface it seems like a blue on the earth surface if you observe continents and water bodies we have continents cover 29 percent of uh, earth surface remaining 71 percent of the earth surface is covered by water that is in the form of seas and ocean so 71 percent of the earth surface is covered with oceans and seas and a general differentiation between sea and ocean if you observe seas are the extension of saline water seas are the extension of saline water and a large sea is known as ocean large sea is known as ocean so saline water body in a large extension called as ocean we all know that oceans majorly five we have the pacific ocean the atlantic ocean the arctic ocean the indian ocean and the antarctic or southern ocean first of all ocean relief is divided into four parts continental shelf continental slope deep sea plain and the trenches continental slope from the coastal area 3 to 6 kilometers of land under the ocean you can see continental shelf after the continental shelf next area you have a slope in the underground of the ocean that slope is known as a continental slope then next you have some plain areas under the ocean ground that is known as a deep sea plain you may have mountains plateau such kind of also then very deep places in the underground of the ocean are known as a trenches how much deeper if we discuss that the world's highest peak mount everest is a um, drawn completely if you throw into the pacific ocean we have such kind of very deep depth more than 11000 meters uh, uh, deep depth trenches we have in some oceans so trenches are the deepest places in the oceans like this ocean relief or ocean underground is divided into four parts starting part is continental shelf then after continental slope then a deep sea plain like grounds and in that uh, trenches very deepest places are present next uh, we have a topic of uh, movements of ocean water ocean surface water is moving in three ways waves currents tides waves waves are nothing but beta ocean surface water is sometimes rising falling rising falling and it forms like a this shape is known as a wave so ocean surface water is a rising falling and forming waves but why because of winds winds air is moving on the ocean surface due to that winds waves are formed next currents currents are nothing but beta ocean surface water is uh, moving from one place to another place means it moves one part of the ocean to another part like a stream but in a definite uh, direction and uh, those are two types warm currents cold currents warm currents we can see in the equatorial region from the equator they are moving towards polar region and cold currents we can see in the polar region from the polar they are moving towards the equatorial region but uh, why these movements we have in the ocean that we have to understand the reasons for the movements of uh, that ocean surface water particularly winds are affecting next uh, temperature sometimes uh, high temperature sometimes low temperature due to that variations and next uh, salinity high salinity low salinity are the reasons that's why we have these uh, movements of ocean water next topic is uh, tides if you observe the level of sea water for some hours it is rising for some hours it is rising and after some hours it is falling after some hours it is falling like this rhythmic rise and fall in the ocean level surface level is known as a tides and the tides are useful for fishing when high tides are formed at that time ocean water comes to the coast then it is easy to catch the fish fishing purpose it is useful when it is a low tides at that time ocean water will go back from the coastal area like this ocean is divided into four parts as a continental shelf slope deep sea plain and a trench and the ocean has a three movements ocean surface water in the form of waves currents and tides 
subscribe our channel if you like this video and share to your friends